What's going on guys, big welcome to you all to our channel. We are team crushing the meta and we are doing lots of reveals for you guys. So we are doing the premium collection reveals and we have talked about lots of clans already. Now we get the chance to talk about Nurakami. Or is it Kagero? It's now Kami or Kagero? We will never know. <laughs> Alright, so we have these videos, and these videos we will actually talk a little bit about the art and then go back talk about the skill and then at the end of the video give you a little bit of our thoughts as these videos meant to be short videos. If you want to hear more, let us know in the comment section below, but these videos are made for you guys to give us your thoughts about these cards. The only one that I talked a little bit more about was Spike, but even so, I didn't really go in depth about the cards. Alright, so we have two beautiful cards right here, and this was, I think, was the first card that was revealed um, from the premium collection, but I could be mistaken. I think it was the first, yeah, it was the first. And if you be like, yo, T-Boy, what is this, what I'm seeing right here? Well, this is Facebook. <laughs> and on Facebook, we have a group, as in it's called Crushing the Meta. And on Crushing the Meta, we do the daily reviews. And we talk also a lot about them, about the art, about whatever. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about the art. So first of all, this does look a little bit, actually a lot, like a grade one that they already have. Doesn't it? You don't know which one? You do know which one. So uh, that's interesting to kind of have a stride with the same uh, design or the same, almost the same art. And then we have the G Guard. Uh, you could look at the sword, looks amazing. Everything, the colors look good. It does look a little bit dim. I hope that the cards in real life will be a bit different as you can see the colors better. Uh, the skills. So the first part, part of the ability is of course discarding grade 3 to stride uh, or cards with some being grade 3, so just the stride ability. And then we have two different auto abilities right here. So he has two different... Oh, the first one is auto, the second one is an act ability. So an auto and an act ability. The auto abilities, uh, the auto ability, is when this unit is placed on Vanguard, so plus one, draw a card for each of your opponent front row open regular circles. That is quite crazy. Why? Because this does mean that if you play against Excel and something like Pale Moon, that they already leave lots of open regular circles behind them, this could draw you lots of cards. But even if you play against whatever clans and they leave open regular circles, you draw. If they don't and they leave their cards there, then you basically could retire them yourself. You don't get the draw anymore as the skill works on place, but you do get the chance to punish your opponent, buying their uh, cards and then benefit from that. So it does give you the option to do something different than only binding and this time drawing cards. This could also mean that later on in the game this card could be more effective if playing against an Excel clan. Alright, then we have the second ability, which is an act ability on Vanguard. Once per turn, cost is a count plus one, and all of your front row units get power plus 10k until the end of turn for each of your opponent's front row open regard circles. Okay, so this does give your field bunch of power. That's good. But it doesn't give you the chance to multi-attack, it doesn't give you the chance to um, retire it's itself. It, it doesn't do as much as your other strides. But because Narukami already has or have a very good stride base uh, G deck, now you also have the chance to do something different, as in the draw power is definitely something that they would enjoy. Now we talk about the G guard again, the first part of the ability is G guarding, and then we have when this unit is put on the guardian circle, your opponent choose up to two of their front row rear guards and bind them up to two. If two cards were not bound, this unit gets shield plus 10k until the end of the battle. If no cards were bound, it gets another 10k. So basically it could get another 20k. Looking at the other G guards again, I would not say that this is one of the best. I would say that it's a little bit, uh, it could get an extra 20k, I, I do get that, but you could still also retire a rested rear guard, 
So, I don't know. I'm not very sold about both of these cards, actually. I do like this trade a lot uh, because of the fact that it does give you the draw power. But in an Orokami deck, I actually expected the card to be... Uh, to have the chance to give you like a little bit of an attack extender, like binding something from your hand or field to be able to recall it and stuff like that. But again, your regards could do that already, so I don't think it's necessary for it to do the same thing. Also, the second part of the ability of the of the stride is an act ability to give the power, which means that it's something that you will lose later on because again. Guns plus one, all of your front two units get the extra 10k for the open regular circles your opponent has. But this is kind of a later game card again against an Excel clan. This could punish them a lot. As if they have two Excel circles, this already gives extra 40k to your front row. Do you understand what that means? If they have three exo circles, as in Pyongu, they create lots of exo circles, they could give your front row extra 50 10k. 10k for every open regular circle in the front row is a lot. It's really a lot, especially against an Excel clan. So that is interesting. Again, that's actually it for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to hear more, then we could talk about it because we have specialists from Narcom in our group, which is Robin, Lacian. Also, we have more guys on our group that play Narcom, so they could go in depth about these cards if you want to hear more. Like deck list, which units, da 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 da. We could talk about that. All right. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for tuning in our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and let us know in the comment section below what you think about these cards. So, till next time.